Hey there, Studio Pro 9.10 is out, and here's what's new. A brand new integrated styling editor, data source variables in pages, Mendix version and add-on updates in Studio, and more. Let's get started with the integrated styling editor. Customizing the styling of your app's interface can now be done with the new integrated styling editor. Like with JavaScript Actions, we use the Monaco editor that is also used in Visual Studio Code to do your custom styling. This means you can change your styling without leaving Studio Pro and needing other tools. It's super easy to use. Change, save, and enjoy. Good news for everyone with nested data widgets on their pages. From now on, XPath sources and list views, uh, data grid to, and many other widgets have access to the same variables as page expressions. The XPath constraint can return to objects of all surrounding data widgets and to their attributes. This makes creating XPath constraints easier, more powerful, and introduces the need for microflow and nanoflow sources. Happy nesting! The updated tooltip widget now lets you provide contextual help, assistance in form fields, explain complex features, improving the user experience, and much more. We improved the configuration options, added lots of design options, and made it easier to use in different scenarios. Use this widget to take your UX from good to great. Mendix Studio will now let you know when there is a new version available of Mendix and any Mendix add-ons. Look for the green notification icon in the bottom left of the screen. The new Mendix version and add-on settings screen shows a list of add-ons that are being used in your app. With the press of a button, you can now keep your app up to date with the latest Mendix features, updates, and security and bug fixes. We've upgraded the performance bot with four new best practices. MXP9 detects excessive inheritance levels. MXP10 detects duplicated access rules. MXP11 detects deeply nested list views. And MXP12 detects repeatedly committed variables. To view the new best practices, Simply open the Performance Bot panel and click Inspect Now. Then double-click a message to navigate to the location, or inside the editor, you can click one of the blue circles. You can see the potential impact and how to fix the issue. And that brings us to the end of this What's New video. For a full list of improvements, features, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com blog, or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. You can download Studio Pro 9.10 at marketplace.menix.com to use all of these features right now. If you enjoyed this video, I hope we've earned your like and subscribe. I'm Jan Le Fries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.